Good morning! Welcome to Wales. It is still sunny and we are with three phenomenal cars which have actually come in convoy from my house. Imagine this, my drive has looked like that for the last few days. Um, starting off with the new 812 Superfast. Now, before you get your hopes up, this actually isn't my car. It's been lent to me by Ferrari North Europe for the next five days. And then, of course, we have the GT3. Now, you might be wondering while, why I'm bringing the GT3 on what is currently set up to be a Welsh road trip. Well, the road trip is ending up in Anglesey, which you guys might be familiar with from previous videos. There is a phenomenal track on the very edge of Anglesey overlooking the ocean, and we're going to take the GT3 to that circuit. I've tracked various cars there before, but there's something about a GT3 on Anglesey that just hooks up perfectly well. And the last one to join our convoy, what I've been classing as our personal convoy, I'll show you why shortly, is the Lexus LFA. Legendary car, only 500 made, uh, one of the best sounding cars in the world. We'll share that with you soon. You might have noticed that it has a Dubai number plate on it. Do you remember when I flew my Speciali to Dubai to have paint protection film applied by the guys at NVN? Well, this is a guy from NVN's car. He's flown it, he's done the opposite trip. I've been like, mate, come over, bring it over for the English summer, we're gonna do some track days. He was like, yeah, sure thing. I didn't think he would, and here it is. And it landed on my drive two days ago. So we've come down in this convoy, but that's not all. We are teaming up with Supercar Driver for this weekend, and this... What else has joined us? Welcome to the 812 Superfast. <laughs> I'm just convinced that naturally aspirated V12s are basically the best engines in the world. I was about to say they might not be the fastest. This is running 800 horsepower. So to put that into context, I'll just do up these windows a second so you can hear what I'm saying. 800 horsepower running through the rear wheels alone. That's more than a Cayman GTS on each tire. <laughs> it's unbelievable. The, the electronic sophistication on this car slash witchcraft is so, so incredible. Whatever it is doing, it's incredibly flattering and it makes this car feel like an absolute hero. The thing that is coming back to me the most from my experience when I first drove the 812 Superfast, which was in Italy during the launch of this car, is just the relationship between the engine and the gearbox is phenomenal. Now, if you guys are au fait with this channel, you'll know that I have had the luck and honor and privilege of being able to uh, buy a F12 TDF. and. I don't want to give too much away because I haven't done the first drive of that car yet, but that to this date I think is the most incredible drivetrain I've ever experienced. This thing, what's fascinating about it is it delivers the shift speed of the PDK gearbox from a Porsche GT3, which is conveniently following behind us. But you have to remember that engine is 500 horsepower and six cylinders. This is 800 horsepower and it has another six cylinders. Just listen to the response of the, the downshift on this thing. That's, that's firing up 12 cylinders. It's just unbelievable. It's absolutely out of this world. I can't wrap my head around how they've managed it. But that's why these things are so spectacular, I guess. So anyway, we're on the road, on our Welsh road trip, following some other very spirited drivers in front of us. As I'm sure you can tell by the sound of the RPM of this car. <laughs> I 
mean, just to let this thing breathe and scream, just to be in control of a Ferrari V12 for me is like being in control of the Holy Grail. It just gives me goosebumps and interacting with it. If you ever watched my F12 content last year, uh, people used to criticize me for just always changing gear. They were like, what are you changing gear for? I used to say it's like I'm in charge and I'm playing a musical instrument. I just unnecessarily, total in agreement with you, I unnecessarily change gear all the time just because of this. I mean, come on, man. almost untold, intangible camaraderie. <laughs> that develops when you're in a convoy of supercars and like-minded petrol heads. I'll just wind this up so you can hear what I'm saying. There's just something about it. You enter into this, this your own realm, this bubble appears around your world as soon as you get more than two supercars together. And it's such a fantastic feeling and it's odd. I think everyone in these cars, we all know what that feeling is. But for some reason, no one actually talks about it. You just end up sort of getting sucked into your own private supercar world and it all just clicks. And for some reason, what's funny is that our drive over here was really boring and quite slow and steady. And then miraculously, we've got together like 12 or 13 fantastic supercars and so far, We've just had empty roads. I just wanted to acknowledge that feeling because the whole point of this channel is very much to take you guys along for the ride. I always wanted to put as many of you as I could in the seat with me. And oftentimes there's, what makes these things special are the things that you can't see. And that's the emotions and, and feelings. And they are quite hard to describe this world that occurs as soon as you get all of these cars in one spot. First fuel stop of the day. You know, we've been on it and this thing is still only using about half a tank. It does have a big tank. Uh, let's see, the cost of half a tank in this. V power, not cheap. First impressions of this thing. I'm most impressed with how it shrinks. It absolutely shrinks around you. We've been flowing down here with everything from a BAC Mono to a GT3, Tony's Huracan, Performante, all what I would consider to be smaller, more nimble, more agile cars. The amount of power available at the top is incredible. So it revs all the way up to pretty much 9,000 RPM. I recall from the standard F12, the last sort of 500 RPM were almost for show. There wasn't too much power up there, but this is full thoroughbred usable power all the way up to the top of the very rev band. All that allows you to do is get so much drama out of the car because you don't actually need to shift up as often as you might have done in the standard F12 in order to sort of draw in more of that torque that was available like lower down the gear chain. They've worked wonders with this engine. It really is a phenomenal thing. Interestingly, in my mind, I'm still trying to compare it a little bit to the TDF, which is right and wrong. A lot of the learnings from TDF made it into this car, but without giving too much away, in comparison, the TDF feels like going to eat it. It's like some sort of newborn child in, in comparison. Still, leagues apart from where the F12 started. And to think that one day they'll make a sort of lightweight focused special edition of this blows my mind. So next up, we're gonna go and explore the real sound of this V12 and hit some tunnels.
Never, ever, ever, ever gets old. Less so than my favorite song on repeat that I could listen to. Supercars in a Tunnel is my favorite audio track of all time. <laughs> Particularly when it's mixed with a V12 Ferrari engine and a V10 LFA engine, which has one of the sweetest tones of any car I've heard. It's not that loud, but it has an incredible tone to it. It's an amazing thing. I gotta get a TDF in the tunnel, fast. I gotta get some miles on it so I can wring its neck and share with you guys just how unbelievable that sounds. Wow. <laughs> I do believe this would be an appropriate time to sign off. Look where we are. Look at that for an incredible view. So I've never stayed here before. Supercar driver have, they recommended it. If you're ever in Anglesey looking for a fantastic place to stay, Chateau Rianfer. At first it does look a little bit like you've stepped into real life Disneyland, but the view is incredible and I'm told on high authority that inside is five star, sir. So we have moored up our stallions for the evening. I mean, look what's going on here. Fabulous view, fabulous car, LFA 812 GT3 RS, Huracampa Fermante, Gen 2 GT3. Resplendent doesn't do it justice. As always guys, thanks for watching. We shall see you next time. Ciao.